All right. So um, this is the general aptitude answer key for the CSI net exam that is in June 2019. And for this question, this is a question based on the ratio of the rectangle ABCD and the triangle. So the answer was coming out to be eight. Okay, the ratio of the rectangle is to triangle was coming out to be eight. Right. The next question is the number of digits you need to type. So this was an interesting question, and the answer to this is again option number C that is seven zero nine. Okay. So the option to this question is option number eight, and to this uh, it is seven zero nine, right? Option number three. Now let's move on to the next question. So the next question was a student received the following marks in the five of the six courses. This was a pretty simple question, okay? And uh, the average, uh, what would be his average marks? So for this, the options were there, and without the options also, you could have marked the answer as eighty one, right? So the answer for this question was eighty one, okay? I think that is also option number C, right? Eighty one, right? Okay, so now let's move on to the next question. Velocity time curve of the body is given by the diagram below. Okay, now I'm not explaining the questions over here, like the answers to the questions or the solutions. Uh, that I would be uploading on An Academy. I'm just giving you the quick solution key to the aptitude section. And again, it is a tentative answer key, right? So don't believe it to be absolutely true. There might be some mistakes over here as well. So this is the option number two for here. Basically, the velocity and time curve is given to us. And they have asked the uh, time, uh, the curve between acceleration and time, right? So there's a constant increase. Uh, there's a co there's a constant increase in the velocity with respect to time. So the acceleration becomes constant, and then suddenly the velocity is stagnant. So basically, acceleration is dv by dt. So if velocity becomes stagnant, your acceleration will fall to zero, right? And then again, it will start deaccelerating over here. So that is why the answer to this question was option number two. Okay. Now let's move on to the next one. Uh, so this was a question very simple. You could have just used the options to find out the answer. So the option was option number two, that is 20, because if he is selling at five rupees less, so that means 15 rupees, and he is taking five percent commission. So five percent of 15 rupees is 75 paise, right? Whereas if he is selling at 15 rupees less, so that means he is selling at five rupees, and he is taking 15 percent commission. So 10 percent of five is 0.5. So 15 percent will be 0.75. So that is why the answer comes out to be option number. Two. Okay. Then uh, let's move on to the next one. So for this one, figure A was I was able to draw, or I was able to uh, like uh, draw without lifting the pen and without retracing. But figure B I could not, right? So I think figure A, but not figure B. That is option number one, right? Figure A, but not figure B, right? Okay. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, the next one was. This question, this is pretty simple. The cutoff marks you had to find out. So this for this answer is option number four. That is S one. S one was only able to pass the cutoffs. You can see the respective terms that you need forty percent in B, and you need forty percent overall. So this was forty percent overall and forty percent in B also, right? But if you see other options, the total is not coming out to be forty percent. For S two, it is thirty nine percent. For S three, it is coming out to be more than forty percent. But for B, it is coming out to be less than forty percent. And for S4, the total is coming out to be 34%. So that is why the the only the only passing is option number four. Okay. And now let's move on to the next one. Um, this was pretty in, easy. You had to find the incorrect statement. So the incorrect statement was the highest price never crossed 75. This is incorrect because the highest cross highest price crossed 75 in almost all the months. Okay. Then the next one is over here. Okay, so here a lot of question confusion was there. So always remember the st standard deviation does not depend on the sample size. The standard error depends on the sample size. So a lot of students got confused over here, right? Standard deviation never depends on the sample size. So the mean will not be equal. Okay, and obviously the coefficient of variation will also not be uh, equal because the coefficient of variation depends on the mean, right? And uh, So the the most possible answer I I am still not very sure but I am this I am sure with this fact that the standard deviation is always uh, is all is is same right so coefficient of variation depends on your mean and the standard deviation and if I am saying the standard deviation does not change and the mean is changing that means the coefficient of variation will also change right so I think option number three that different means. Nearly equal standard deviations and differential different coefficients of variation should be the answer according to me. Okay, so the standard deviation is uh, is generally the same. Okay, it remains the same. Okay, so the standard deviation does not change. Uh, and let's hope the answer is option number three, right? 
then now the question on the prime numbers you just have to find what is the prime number 121 is divisible by 11 so it's not a prime number 183 is divisible by 61 and 10201 is the square of 101 right if you square 101 it comes out to be 10201 so the only possible answer is 157 many of you keep asking me how to improve the aptitude section just practice there's so many exams that happen government exams ssc uh, bank exams UPSC exams, right? Assistant commanders, uh, civil services exam. So there's so many exams happening, and their fee is also very less, about hundred rupees. So why sh you should go there and you know attend the general reasoning and reasoning and aptitude section. That will actually build your aptitude section, right? So I generally keep giving these exams. Now this is also a good question, and uh, for this one the answer is again option number C, three point four six and a traveler to the town reaches a crossroad and upon asking residents this was a good question that which one if among a b and c only one is truthful then what should the traveler do right so if if a says turns left turn left and if a is saying truth right so b and c automatically are wrong because if you have to turn left c is saying go straight and b is saying do not turn left so b and c are wrong and a is correct so he can go left the traveler can go left but again if you see if b is saying that do not turn left okay that means b is if let's say if the travel has to go straight that means c is saying correct then b will also say correct because b is saying do not turn left so b is also truthful c is also truthful that cannot be the possibility so going straight cannot be the possibility then what other possibility can be there let's say if b is right that do not turn left that means you have to go right then c is saying go straight that is wrong and a is saying turn left that is also wrong only b is correct that he's saying do not turn left so that means the traveler can also go right so either he can go right or left so he will not be able to decide between going left or right he'll be sure that he does not have to go straight but he'll be confused between left and right okay uh the next one is this one is basically according to me a cylinder okay and in this this question i think it is greater than the maximum possible number of hair on the head if you do the calculations it it will come to you why this should be the answer right according to me this should be the answer option number one because if the maximum possible hair on the head is let's say ten thousand and the population is ten thousand one then two people need to have the same kind of uh, density on the hair or the equal number of hair on the head right so a metal metal wire is stretched along its length. So whatever, however they are stretched, the diameter will remain the same, and the diameter will be reduced obviously since it's getting stretched, right? So the diameter will reduce, and uh, the the diameters will be same, but they will be reduced. That was the answer to this question. Okay. Uh, then this one. Okay. Many uh, there was again. I don't know why there was so much confusion over here. This is a basic geography question, if I am not wrong and they, they they have given the graph between monthly average rainfall and your uh, temperature right so temperature in the coastal regions remains the same so obviously northeastern hills and himalayan foothills you can eliminate because in the winters the temperature falls drastically right and in summers it's quite pleasant over there right i have been to himalayas a lot of times and northeast as well so i know that whereas on the west coast and east coast now how to differentiate both are coastal regions so in the coastal regions the temperature more or less remains constant then west coast and east coast how to decipher now if you see the monthly rainfall so in june july august season the rainfall is very high but in october season the rainfall is not that high now in east coast there is what you call retreat retreating monsoon so again in october there should be a high point but you cannot see a high point in october so that means the answer is on the west coast right so option number one that is west coast would be the correct answer for this graph question the answer was option number four that is x y according to me and then we have two more questions for which or three more questions okay so for this question the answer is option number five okay a simple question from geometry and you have been given two parallel calls for this i'm not sure but i think according to me answer should be point option number two that point b is higher than point a right and the last question for this i took the example of rotation of earth around the sun and according to me the answer should be option number two one by minus one by i'm not sure about the last two questions rest i'm pretty sure they should be the right answer right but again it's a tentative answer key even i am a student so i don't know if i've done some mistake and you can have if you think that you have a different opinion about some particular question please let me know in the comment section right thank you so much for watching